I uh, was putting the oil pump in and I have the Melling heavy duty standard oil pump shaft that everyone puts on Pontiacs and uh, you can see the uh, hull there and they have these little nubbins on them to uh, stop so when the engine's upright when you pull the distributor it doesn't pull the pump shaft off and it fall back into the pan so this is just like a positive stop these little things uh, but there's an interesting thing where that hole where these are supposed to stop on they don't ride on it but they just stop I can actually that's actually through the hole because I'm bad at this I can actually get my hand under there and that's out the other side so that does not fit over here on this 400 this there's no way there is no way I can uh, get this through there like it's just not happening and then on the 455 That is no way, no way that's going through. So I figured maybe it's just worn out. I don't know. I don't think one of these things could ride on it long enough to wear it out. I'm just gonna get a clean one. I have two of these because I thought the first one might have just been not. I thought maybe the nubs weren't thick enough. But so this is the other one and. Once again, that is like, if I let go of that, that's going to fall through. There's no doubt about it. So it's not a huge problem if I don't want to pull the distributor out, or uh, sometimes you luck out. But uh, the last thing I want to do is have that problem. So I uh, picked up this guy for like 40 bucks. The, uh, the guys at Nightmare again, who... Uh, Obviously, have done me well with the uh, with the end plate problem, and so this has got a little uh, floating press-on circlip retainer, so it's just slightly larger in diameter. And if I put this down in there, I can leave that there all day, and that won't go through. So that was a bit of a score. Um, it's a little thicker at the bottom because it has this sleeve that slides over over the pump as opposed to the melling ones which I mean it's not gonna I'll put it on the other way they still look okay, just as good I know but so it's got that full sleeve that goes over it and I think someone was saying that the factory they had a little plastic collar that they would put over it on the install and yeah I don't Obviously, everyone runs without them, but there's nothing worse than this thing coming off and falling into the pan and uh, causing you all matter of problems. Uh, let me know if anyone else has seen that, because that's, that's new to me. I got the, uh, what's up, bud? What you doing, huh? <laughs> so, to get the final clearance of that uh, Nightmare oil pump shaft, I, uh, Put a distributor in locked down. This is just a, a recode point unit. It's not what I'm going to use, but it's what I had. So with the uh, the shaft, they said that it's got to be 40 thousandths or more between the counterweight and the shaft itself. Now, because it has that extra slip thickness on it that, that already went over. It makes it pretty tight. Uh, the crank's as far back as it's going to go in its end play. So, um, and I've got it, I got 40 here, and you can't tell, but it it goes in there all day long. It's I certainly wouldn't want it any closer, but I say 40, and 40 will go down past there. It's close, but it's gonna fit and 
it's not going to come out of the hole like the other one. So that's where it is with that. So now, windage tray and pan and done with the bottom end. I can put it all on and close it up. Good news. 100 in here, which is pretty amazing.